There it is. So when we're finished, we hit stop. meeting is called to order at 7.33 p.m. by me, Mrs. Adams. All members of the school board, Dr. Richards and Dr. Hatton, are present. It is recommended that the agenda for the April 14, 2022 regular meeting be approved as presented with additions, corrections, or deletions, plus we do have late items as recommended by the board. Madam President, um, under late items, we have, I believe, uh, the agenda in the audience has items one through six dealing with the textbook adoptions, the telespeech, uh, Ms. Jones, uh, the resignation of Mr. Griffin, and number six is Mr. Geiser for math. In addition to that, what I would call late, late items, item number seven will be the uh, retirement of Debbie Barr as an instructional assistant and sub-caller for North Harrison, and that will be at the end of this current school year. And number eight will be permission to award water boiler installation and hot water heat or gas conversion to HMW Services of Huntingburg for North Harrison Elementary. May I have a motion to accept this recommendation? I'll make a motion. Motion is made by Mr. Engel. May I have a second? Seconded by Mr. Hamer. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. It is recommended that the minutes from the March 15, 2022 executive session and regular meeting be approved as presented. May I have
have a motion to accept the minutes. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Mrs. Gunter. May I have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Mr. Stroud. Are there any questions? Then all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5 to 0. Under business office of recommendations, um, it's recommended claim numbers 222 through 338 be approved as presented. May I have a motion to accept the claims? Motion is made by Mr. Hainer. May I have a second? I'll second it. Seconded by Mr. Engel. Are there any questions or comments on these claims? Then all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Approval of payrolls is recommended in regular payrolls for April 29, 2022 and May 13, 2022 be approved for payment. May I have a motion to accept the payrolls? I'll make the motion. The motion is made by Mr. Stroud. May I have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Mrs. Gunter. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Bank reconciliation is recommended that the bank reconciliation for March 31, 2022 be approved as presented. May I have a motion to accept this recommendation? I'll make the motion. Motion is made by Mr. Inkle. May I have a second? Seconded by Mr. Hanger. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Are there no presentations at this time, Madam President? Yeah, is there, uh, are any public comments on the agenda items? Now would be the time to speak. If you would speak, move to the podium, give your name, uh, and you have three minutes. Hello, I am Jennifer Gordon, the band director at North Harrison Middle and High School. First, I would like to thank the few school board members that came to the um, public performance for the drumline at Winter Garden. Thank you for coming and supporting the kids. It really meant a lot to them. Um, next, I would like to publicly thank Mr. Griffin Webster for his time here. Unfortunately, he's moving on to other employment, so I'm going to be without an aide. So I'm hoping we can get that position filled very soon especially with my anticipated growth with the band program continuing next year. And finally, I would like to publicly thank the school board for getting the new trailers. Um, we are looking at getting shelves put into them very soon once the weather finally warms up. And we'll get some plain decals put on them so it's not as large as what is on them now. So again, thank you all. Thank you. You're welcome. Are there any other persons wishing to speak? Okay, then we will move on. Under personnel, resignations and retirements, Sherry Caudell, high school custodian, resignation effective March 18th, 2022. Rookie Weisman, Wisman, uh, Morgan Elementary, instructional assistant, resignation effective April 1st, 2022. Jeffica Washnock, Morgan Elementary, instructional assistant, resignation April 8th, 2022. May I have a motion to accept these res these resignations? I'll make that motion. Motion is made by Mrs. Gunter. May I have a second? I'll second. Motion is seconded by Mr. Stroud. Are there any comments on this? Then all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Under appointments, Katie Cherry, Morgan Elementary Instructional Assistant, effective March 22nd, 2022. Brittany Stevens, North Harrison Elementary Instructional Assistant, effective April 4th, 2022. Amber Jacoby and Angie Hoyer, Morgan Elementary Yearbook Co-Sponsors for the 22-23 school year. Evan Longacre, High School Boys Golf Volunteer, effective March 24th, 2022. Griffin Webster, High School Instrumental Musical Assistant, effective 21-22 school year. And Lisa Allen, Middle School Secretary effective for the 22-23 school year. 
May I have a motion to accept these appointments? I'll make that motion. Motion is made by Mr. Stroud. May I have a second? Seconded by Mr. Hainer. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Under other items, it's recommended that North Harris Community School Corporation pass the resolution authorizing litigation against manufacturers and distributors and sellers of electronic cigarettes or vaping products. This is a class action lawsuit that does not involve any financial obligations to the corporation. And if I understand correctly, this is what a lot of the schools in the area are doing. Several schools, I know Lanesville in particular, are joining this in this class action. Uh, this has been recommended to us by the Indiana Small School and Rural School Associations. Uh, there are no costs to our corporation. It, it would be similar to the larger tobacco settlement that you had back a dozen or more years ago. Uh, we're not claiming that, we're not indicating or, or expecting that we would get any large amount of money. However, in order to receive any amount of money, you'd have to participate in the class action suit. And, and I am understanding that any monies that we would possibly receive would have to go to nicotine education and like vaping monitors and bathrooms, that kind of thing? Or would you be okay if I gave you the answer? I have no idea. Okay. Uh, I, at this I thought point, that's what I it is, it, that, that is the thinking at this moment. However, until the lawsuit itself makes its way all the way through, um, it would, my understanding is, is that we would then, that money would come back and we would be able to use it for not only smoking cessation classes, but maybe drug rehab classes, baptos, so anything drug related, I, I believe is where that focus is, but I simply, we may get a dollar. We may get ten thousand. I, I, I wouldn't even begin to speculate right. what we would get. Or right. not get. But the parameters will be set forth in the cell. So, thank you. That is our. But you are correct. That is our thinking. Thanks. May I have a motion to accept this recommendation? I'll make that motion. Motion is made by Mrs. Gunter. May I have a second? I'll second it. Seconded by Mr. Engel. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed. Motion passes 5-0. I'll, uh, I'll save my discussion or enforcement for informational items for after late items. So we'll just do it for part of the superintendent conference. Okay. Under late items, it's recommended that the board approve the 22-23 math textbook adoption of Savas Invention, Savas Invention, Savas Invision math for Morgan and North Harrison Elementary Schools. May I have a motion to accept this recommendation? I'll make a motion. Motion is made by Mr. Stroud. May I have a second? I'll second it. Motion is seconded by Mr. Engel. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. It is recommended that the board approve the 22-23 math textbook adoption of Savas Envision Mathematics for the middle school. This will, there will be, a, this will be a, this will be at a cost of $109.50 per student. The adoption will include a digital program textbook and workbook for each student. May I have a motion to accept this recommendation? I'll make the motion. Motion is made by Mr. Stroud. May I have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Mrs. Gunter. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Appointment of Angie Silveria to North Harris Elementary as tele telespeech assistant, effective March 14, 2022. May I have a motion to accept this appointment? I'll make a motion. Motion is made by Mr. Hainer. May I have a second? I'll second it. Seconded by Mr. Engel. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Appointment of Lindsay Jones as a partial week kindergarten assistant Monday and Friday. She'll be splitting pay with Miranda Vogler, who is currently here. She, Miranda Vogler is already employed, and she's here on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So this is just a, a, a job split. What school? North Harris Elementary. Thanks. May I have a motion to accept this appointment? 
motion. Motion is made by Mrs. Gunter. May I have a second? I'll second it. Seconded by Mr. Stroud. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. It's recommended the board accept the resignation of Webster Griffin as middle school instructional assistant, effective April 22nd, 2022. You will note that you all you already approved him to be a summer band instructional assistant. He's going to continue in that role. Thanks for straightening that. Yeah, you've hired him and now you're fired. No, I'm <laughs> uh, May I have a motion to accept this recommendation? I'll make the motion. Motion is made by Mr. Engel. May I have a second? I'll second it. Seconded by Mr. Hanger. All those in favor, please say hi. Excuse me. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes 5-0. There we go. Hang in there. Hang in there. Uh, appointment of Philip Dysart to teach high school math starting with the 22-23 school year. This will be re uh, in the retirement of Mr. Austin. And Mr. Dysart is currently a teacher at uh, Clarksville. And the reason that we, uh, we've added him as a late item is so that Clarksville can also then begin their search. May I have a motion to accept this appointment? I'll make that motion. Motion is made by Mrs. Gunter. May I have a second? I'll second it. Seconded by Mr. Stroud. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Item 7 is the retirement of Debbie Barr as an instructional assistant and subcaller at North Harrison Middle School. Well, she's the subcaller for the entire corporation, and this will take place at the end of the current school year. May I have a motion to accept this retirement? I'll make that motion. Motion is made by Mr. Stroud. May I have a second? I'll second it. Motion is seconded by Mr. Engel. All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Under number item 8 is permission to award the boiler installation, the hot water gas conversion uh, to uh, Honeybird Machine Works, HMW, for the North Harrison Elementary. May I have a motion to accept this recommendation? I'll make the motion. Motion is made by Mr. Stroud. May I have a second? I'll second. Seconded by Mrs. Gunter. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. We now have board member communication. We'll start with Mrs. Gunter. Um, just a few things. I want to uh, thank everyone who was involved uh, with prom this past Saturday, uh, putting the prom together, decorating after prom. I think it was a huge success. I'm sure the kids were glad to get back to the grand and, and have a proper prom. Um, I want to thank Mr. Griffin for all his help uh, with Mrs. Gordon, and I do hope that we can find her somebody to help uh, in the future, especially since she's had some very nice success this year, so I expect the program to continue to grow. Just so everybody knows, there is a color run um, coming up April 22nd at 6 p.m. This is going to benefit one of our uh, uh, employees. He's actually an alumni and a parent, Andy Pavey. If you've never been to a color run, it's quite fun. People throw colored balloons at you and you get painted with all kinds of colors. So it is kind of fun and it's for a good cause. So if you're not busy, I'm that Friday come out and join us. Also, testing season has begun for uh, the schools, so I just ask people to be patient with the teachers and try to be encouraging to your students. Thank you. All right. Uh, first off, I would like to apologize uh, for being late this evening. Uh, that was mainly my fault. Sometimes I get to talking and I can't stop. But uh, at the same time, I'm trying to work hard and work with other board members and work with the administration on trying to get some things taken care of. I'd like to hit on a couple of those things that we've been working on this week because uh, I feel it's very important. Uh, our transportation department, um, I feel like needs a little fine tuning. 
um, doing some homework this week, we've figured out some things. Um, and, and I would honestly, in the future, would like to see a policy made about our maintenance on our buses, our regular scheduled maintenance, uh, per manufacturer specifications, not just because that's the way it's always been done, but to actually have your manuals and take care of the buses the way that the manufacturers themselves recommend doing. Uh, that I know has not been done. <clears throat> uh, the second thing I want to talk about is the elementary school playground. Um, I don't know how well you guys follow the school board meetings. I'm assuming you guys in the front row here don't. But um, the playground's probably been there since you guys were in elementary school. Uh, Dr. Richards and the other board members have worked pretty hard to get that replaced and it's going to happen this summer. Um, being on the board, I do know now, and I realize that there's certain things that has to happen. All the stars have to line up at once to be able to do some things, um, and I understand that. And I'm super excited about getting this uh, new playground for the kids, finally. It's took a lot of work. Um, the third thing I'd like to talk about is I spent a little time up here this week, took a tour of the maintenance buildings, facilities, and things. And um, I would like to see as a, as a board, as a community, as a, a corporation, as administrators, that we start, uh, we start taking our surplus materials uh, for what they are. Yeah, they're surplus, no doubt about it. But I do feel like there's still value in that surplus. And I think a good hard look at all of our buildings, maintenance buildings, high school, middle school, Morgan, elementary school, um, I think we could get more value out of the things that we do not personally or as a school need anymore, but still get money out of it to be able to put toward other things. <clears throat> The last thing I want to hit on, um, Jennifer Gordon, thank you for your time tonight. Um, we're going to get you some help. I enjoyed the thing that we went to the other night. I don't know exactly the right terminology for it. Drum line, I do know. Um, color guard. Thank you, Mr. Engel. That was enjoyable. Uh, the only thing that I wished and my kids wished is that it lasted longer because we were up there rocking it out to the drums and the flags. So you're doing an amazing job. And I know what North Harrison Band used to be, and I do believe in my heart that you're going to get us back to where it was. And uh, we appreciate your all hard work. You as well, Mr. Webster. Uh, oh! What about you, Mr. Webster? I'm sorry. We appreciate you too. Thank you for sharing her with us. I was doing real good too. Yeah, you were. All right, I'm I'm done. I appreciate you all coming out tonight. Thank you, uh, Mr. Hanger. I'm gonna turn it over to you. Well, thank you, Mr. Trump. Um I want to say just a little bit, and I'll pass it on uh, back to Griffin Webster. Uh, I've known Griffin for quite a long time. I know his family well, and uh, I know his dad, and his dad passed away not too long ago, and I, I hated that for Griffin and, and the rest of his family, but Griffin is leaving us and uh, taking a, a better paying job. And you know, I, I, this happens to us quite a bit out here. We have good people that come in here, and they work as teachers and aides and uh, custodians, and all the different jobs that we have. And occasionally, you know, they have to leave us. And I, I don't like that so well because we lose a lot of good people. And uh, of course, uh, and I've always said this, if you can find a better job somewhere, please go ahead and take it. Make yourself better, make your family better. And Griffin is one of those people that wherever he goes, he'll be a success. And again, I, I want him to, to, to do well, but uh, He's got a, got a much better job, and, and, and I think he'll, he'll be okay. So, you know, if any of you guys are friends with Griffin, you know who I'm talking about. What a great kid. And uh, he's also very instrumental in our music department out here. And, 
and music is much approved and we're certainly glad that you guys are on board with us and uh, our music instructor and, and the different things are starting to come back around for us again. So happy about that. You know, I'm a big fan of, of the arts, music and and arts and things like that are they're very important to me and, and they should never, never be downplayed. So in saying that, again, I thank you guys for being here tonight. I apologize for us being a little bit late. And Logan, I will tell you, maybe just because you're here tonight, we've never been late before. We're almost, we're here every time. You know, we just, I don't know, Logan, it's just a closed basketball thing, man, I don't know. But again, thank you for being here. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for us being late. I know that we have touched on that already. Um, secondly, thank you all for coming out tonight. I'd like to say ditto to uh, what Ms. Gunter said. She's always on on target and gets to do this before anyone else, but she often, she she recognizes everyone, and I'm very grateful for that. Uh, thank you, Mr. Stroud. Um, you know, you're very tenacious and detailed, and I appreciate that, and you as a board member. But it was Eric's fault that we were late. <laughs> Anyways, to the band. So I was looking at a, at, a, at, a, at a message that I sent to one of the band parents after that uh, color guard, and I said, I was totally blown away. My oldest daughter said she was captivated by the color guard. Uh, but I do agree that it should be a few minutes longer. You know, my goodness, any other chance to eat my popcorn? No, it was great. It was wonderful. Very, very proud. Very proud. That, I'm joking, of course. Uh, very proud of you all, and very proud of the uh, the success that's going on. And you do have our support. Thank you all again. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit on a different tack other than I do appreciate everything and I like Mrs. Gunner starting because she never forgets anything. <laughs> uh, but uh, I just want to remind people that we do have an academic Super Bowl team and the district meet is this Tuesday, April 19th at Austin. And this qualifier, this qualifies the teams for the state if they score high enough. They only take four or five squads throughout the state so and we've been fortunate in past years to send some teams so fingers crossed that this year we do the same uh, we've got some good kids on the team and we've got a pretty good sized team this year so uh, we appreciate all the support that they get and I also want to welcome the new hires that's something that I neglect to do I think a lot of times and we're glad to have everybody on board I'll uh, echo and ditto and thank you and I am excited also to finally get the playground squared away at North Harrison Elementary. I, I'm, in that same vein, I want to mention the walkathon today that they had at North Harrison Elementary. Uh, I shared some pictures, a couple pictures with the board. What a great day. Uh, I don't want to steal their thunder, but a few years ago, pre-COVID, they raised a little over thirty nine. That was just thirty nine thousand dollars out of North Harrison Elementary in Ramsey, Indiana, that goes toward the Norton Children's Hospital uh, Foundation. And uh, they feel like they might exceed that amount, but I don't want to give away certain dollar amounts. And you guys, we're going to keep that as a secret between us until they give us the final tallies, please. Um, graduation, uh, I got one that this is going to have. Our graduation is May 22nd at 1 p.m. That's a is the, uh, And then it will be outside. We're going to try it again. We've been very fortunate. We're going to tempt the fates this time and try it one more time. Uh, of course, we'll have to assess that closer to that time. But uh, to be at the football field. And uh, kind of a pre-warning, we've had a conversation about pot, because last year when we were out in the hot and heat and we did it, we thought, oh, we should have this on a Saturday morning. But we'd already put it to our calendar that it would be on Sunday the 22nd, and we didn't note that until we got into the school year and went, oh, next year you'll note on our school calendar that we have graduation to be determined. So we'll probably, we may look at moving that actually to Saturday morning. Kind of free up the weekend time for more families. So we're just looking at that. Uh, just a 300 and what? 80, 391 day, uh, perhaps a pre warning of the change of things. So graduations uh, May 22nd at 1. The band has been a huge success this year and it has been noted not only in our school community but, but throughout our school personnel and our student body. And I do appreciate you being here tonight. And, uh, trailer certainly were the least 
of what we could do for you, given that I did not want to come fetch you from Ohio with a broken axle or, or some such nonsense. And um, prom was a big hit. I really like the fact we got to be able to back bid the grand. It was great here last year. I appreciate all everyone's work. It certainly is a lot simpler to go somewhere else uh, to have that problem. And uh, as uh, Ms. Governor uh, mentioned, we do have iLearn starting here uh, in testing through grades three through eight, and that kicks out on Monday. And it runs for what, was about 15 days yeah, for makeups and things. So, um, so it's hard to believe we only have about 25 days of school left. So. As I've heard before, the days are long and the years are short, and this year certainly has snuck up on us. So, again, thank you, and I appreciate Oh, one other thing. Uh, Ms. Debbie Barr, I'd be remiss with her retirement. She's been here quite a while. She's going to continue with us for a short time as a bus driver. Um, but her sub call, she's been a terrific sub caller for us, and that job is just such a, a hard job to do and do well. And she works with our severe profound children, multiple women. It's just a service, and, and, a, uh, and she's been such a blessing for those kids, and I really want to thank her for her service. It is recommended that the meeting be adjourned at 8.01 p.m. May I have a motion for adjournment? I'll make that motion. Motion is made by Mrs. Gunter. May I have a second? I'll second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes 5-0. Yeah, you're going to have to record the whole night here. <laughs>